Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Pro. In this video, we'll learn about how to implement conditional stop for for loop in LabVIEW. We have a output array indicator in the front panel and a simple code in the block diagram that will run for 10 iterations and it will produce an array according to the elements being produced by the random number and the comparison code. So even if the code is being run 10 times, the value is produced is with only 9 elements because the comparison and the case structure will determine how many elements are being produced. But what if, what if we want the required number of elements. To do that, what we'll do is, first of all, we'll check the number of elements in an array. So if we run it, we're getting the values, different values 7, 8, and 10, respectively, regardless of how many times the loop is being run. But what if we want 12 elements or n number of elements in an array after the comparison? In that case, the terminal input on the for loop will not work. So if we we'll remove that, what we're getting is we're getting the broken error because it's the requirement for using the for loop. So if we we'll right click and use the conditional terminal for the for loop, we're getting a red dot on the iteration terminal as well. Now what we'll do next is we'll use the greater than equal to logic and for example we want only 12 elements so we'll connect into the greater than equal to vi and then it doesn't matter but the value has to be significantly larger than the 12 value over there connected so we selected that to the 10 so as many times we'll run now we're getting the specific value of 12 because the conditional stop will, means that the loop will run until the error size is greater than or equal to 12. 